Their party has been hijacked by a selected group of party leaders and elders, government appointees, behind, behind their cutting power brokers and some unscrupulous party apologies. It is abundantly clear to me that my services and contributions to the party are not appreciated. Abusia for where they are breaking news and now about to come out TV up on us. Yeah, just say Nina Mokobi as you say, I say, eh, on my boat, I say, Alan Chematin, I busia for Uncle Yamano, and Untina was our banner becassa, a jail boy, a jail boy, a pair of marbons, and then a day. Wa ba ba nti ni nsemi ya betuja bo siya fo. Ni siya kare ni eka se papa ni tri mpwe wani tri mpwe aze di. MPP di e sune 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 sune. Ona moto mkwa nta a tin ton ta ya pai. E siya de obe kwa konten kwa independent candidate. Ni ya kwa kwa tiye ni nsemi ni bidi MPP fo di aya na se ya papa ya. Ya nu nti wa se di e tiye biya. Omu wuna omu sana omu 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 ni di ukura anfreno. Ni siya de obe kwa independent. On one side, my mom, my dear, so I'm so relieved. She say, and the butterfly, you know, is a logo I'll be used for eh the campaign. The person for any answer, good to her. You forgot to say, she say, honourable Alan Cash. She say, the MPP no atonsium independent in Guinea TV. And that my continual stay in the party will create further tension and divisions, which is an exact replay of the circumstances that led to my decision to resign from the party in 2008. Fellow countrymen and women, under the circumstances and given the context provided, I wish to use this platform to announce that I'm honorably resigning with immediate effect. Thank you very much. And I repeat, under the circumstances and given the context provided, I wish to use this platform to announce that I'm honorably resigning with immediate effect from the new patriotic party to contest for the high office of the president. Thank you very much. To contest for the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana in the 2024 general elections as an independent presidential candidate. Thank you. Thank you. 
Almighty. I will establish and lead a new movement for change in Ghana. The brand logo for the movement is the Monarch Butterfly, which, which politically symbolizes change and transformation, hope and positivity. It also communicates strength, endurance, spirituality and trust which are all key traits that I cherish as a political leader. In Akan, it is known as Afrofanto. The brand motto of the movement is Ghana will rise again. Ghana, Ghana will rise again, which symbolizes hope for the future of Ghana. The new movement will be led and powered by the youth of Ghana. Out, out of the over 17 million registered voters in the 2020 general elections, the youth aged 18 to 35 years constituted over 9.4 million voters, representing 55% of the total voters. This is a constituency that you cannot ignore. It is acknowledged without doubt that the youth represent the future of our country, and yet they constitute the most vulnerable section of our society. From available statistics, 85% of all prison inmates in Ghana are aged between 12 and 35 years. This is profoundly alarming fellow countrymen and women. It is also worth noting that every year over 300,000 graduates from tertiary institutions in Ghana, excluding those from secondary institutions, enter the job market with little or no hope of finding a job. Clearly, public sector employment is not an option with an already over bloated public service. This phenomenon of a pervasive employment crisis is gradually becoming a national security threat, as evidenced by the recent Occupy Jilobi House demonstrations. The initial reaction of the police in manhandling some protesters is not the solution to the problem. What What Ghana, what Ghana needs now is change, which will provide long-lasting solutions to the challenges confronting our country. Fellow countrymen and women, I'm using this platform to introduce myself to you, the good people of Ghana, and humbly seek your support to become the next president of the Republic of Ghana. I believe, I believe with unwavering conviction that I am the only leader who can guarantee the economic and industrial transformation of our country, the restoration of confidence in political leadership, and the, unif and the unification of an increasingly divided nation. My unique selling proposition as a leader is vision, competence, integrity, and action. The four dominant themes for this change agenda will be pursued, which will be pursued by the movement are as follows. One, change the political status quo by moving Ghana beyond the duopoly of the two main political parties the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Party. This, this will break divisive partisanship in governance in Ghana and bring an end to the winner-takes-all political syndrome. In addition, there is a need to promote reforms 
in the internal democratic processes and procedures of all political parties, such as introducing one man, one vote, to ensure inclusiveness and reduce the effect of monetization in politics. The principles underpinning our national elections must be reflected in the electoral processes of political parties in Ghana. Two, promote the establishment of a government of national unity, which would include people from all walks of life, irrespective of their political, religious, ethnic affiliations, rich, rich or poor, able-bodied or physically challenged, young or old, women and men. This will allow for effective and inclusive participatory governance. The movement will lead the formation of a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. <laughs> Number three, build consensus on a national development agenda, which will introduce a new paradigm shift that moves Ghana from growth and stability to economic transformation. This paradigm shift will be driven by my great transformational plan, GTP, for Ghana, which puts the private sector and the business community at the center of our national development efforts. Four, inspire behavioral and attitudinal change in the people of Ghana. This would include, but not be limited to the following. A, enforcement of discipline. We as a people should appreciate the need for maintaining discipline in all spheres of our national lives, including changing our attitude to work. 